It's your boy Mo signing on for Fresh Colorway. And today, we are gonna take a look at the Jordan 1 OG High Heritage. Now I need you to join the Fresh Crew. And how you join the Fresh Crew, you click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media at Fresh Colorway on Facebook and Instagram. Now these Jordan 1 Heritage was released on Wednesday, May 25th, of 2022 now the demand for these was super low i don't know why these were super low i think it has to do with the color blocking now this is basically the same color blocking as like a bread these the patent breads it's the exact same color blocking except for everywhere on the bread where it's black except for around the ankle collar it's white on these you know so it's basically a reverse bread uh, if you want to say that now with that not being the classic color blocking I think people were just turned off to it. And you combine that with the fact that they give us Jordan 1s like three times a month, and most of the colorways are garbage, you end up with you know a drop that looks like this, where you know it's a pretty decent shoe, but a lot of people let it sit in the stores. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm one of the people that was gonna let this sit in the store too. But I end up hitting on footlocker.com with the ship to me, you know, icon, and after seeing some in hand pairs, like <laughs> this one coming home, this one gonna stay in the collection. I think this one might stay with me. The quality is what made me change my mind. Now I thought this was just gonna be a regular Jordan 1, you know, just with this weird color blocking, you know, kind of like the Travis Scott, you know, color blocking. But when I seen the type of leather that they put on the toe box and on the back, you know, I ain't gonna even bore y'all with that. Let's jump into the shoe and take a closer look. This shoe has a white and red upper, tumbled leather on the Nike swoosh and the ankle collar, tumbled red leather on a toe cap, white color blocking around the toe box, a white mid panel, a white tongue with a red Nike Air, a black wings logo on the ankle collar. Now, if I had to grade this shoe one to 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best, I would give this shoe about, about a seven, seven and a half out of 10. As you can see, I got my Cincinnati Reds gear on today. I feel like this is a perfect shoe to go with a Reds jersey, Reds hat. Color blocking, if you could look past the color blocking, I feel like you can pull this shoe off with a lot. Now, these might be one of these shoes that two years from now, we look back like, man, I should have grabbed them. They were sitting everywhere. Because right now, JD Sports, Foot Locker, Champs, I even seen some at Jimmy Jazz and, and City Gear City. Just about all sizes. So I don't care what size you wear, you can probably go get these for retail. Or if you got coupons, if you're a part of their reward system, you can get these for less than retail in your size. So there's no reason not to pick these up if you want them. This is a very wearable shoe. The color blocking is different, but it's very clean colors. I'm telling you. I feel like this shoe might have potential in the future. I'm not saying invest in it, but I'm just saying if you want it, you better get it now because if you wait, you know, down the line when you need it, it might be too late then. Now, before we get out of here, let me know. Did y'all grab the Jordan 1 OG High Heritage or did y'all let it sit at the store? Because a lot of people definitely let it sit at the store. And I need you to join the Fresh Crew. Now, how you join the Fresh Crew, you click like on this video, Subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media at Fresh Colorway on Facebook and Instagram. It's your boy Mo signing out for Fresh Colorway and I'll catch y'all on the next one.